Hello there guys and welcome back to another epic inexorable maths video. In this video we're going to have a little bit of fun. So we all know about Celsius, we all know about Fahrenheit, depending on which country you live in you might use each one. So you know we use Celsius in the UK tends to be, if you're American you might use Fahrenheit. Now what we want to ask ourselves is because there is a way to convert between Celsius and Fahrenheit and Fahrenheit and Celsius, cool. But when are they the same? So what for what temperature can both people, you know, Americans and British and, and everyone else in the world, everyone who uses Celsius and Fahrenheit, at what temperature exactly will everyone agree that it is the same temperature? You know, when someone says, oh, it's so many, it's X degrees, everyone goes, yes, it is, it is. Because regardless of whether you use Celsius or Fahrenheit, the degrees are the same. What temperature is that? That's what we're going to look for. So first things first, in order to do this, what we want to know is how do you convert between Celsius and Fahrenheit and how do you convert between Fahrenheit and Celsius? Well, to convert from Celsius into Fahrenheit, you multiply your temperature by 1.8. So if, if it was 10 degrees Celsius, you times it by 1.8 to give you 18 and then you add 32 to that new number. So for example, if it was 10 degrees Celsius, what would it be in Fahrenheit? Well, you would do your 10 multiplied by 1.8 and then whatever that is, you would add 32 to it. So 10 times 1.8 is 18 and then you'd add the 32 and that would give you 50. So what that means is 10 degrees Celsius is equal to 50 degrees Fahrenheit for example, and you can do this with any number that you want, right? You just convert between them, it's, you know, it's it's that. So how do we find out when they're the same? Well, we can, we can use an equation, right? Because what this is saying algebraically is if your temperature, so I'm gonna write this down as an equation, let X be the temperature in Celsius, right? We're going to say, and we, and you know, if you want to convert between Fahrenheit and Celsius, you just go the other way. So you just take 32 off and then you divide by 1.8, but it's the same thing. So let X be the temperature in Celsius. Okay. So we're going to define X as the temperature in Celsius. Now, if X is the temperature in Celsius, what's the temperature in Fahrenheit? Well, the temperature in Fahrenheit, therefore, therefore, if I can spell, Therefore, the temperature in Fahrenheit in Fahrenheit is just simply going to be 1.8 multiplied by x plus 32, right? Because again, if x is the temperature in Celsius, you just do 1.8 times that temperature in Celsius plus 32. That's the formula. So when are they equal to each other? Well, that is indeed when just we can, we can say that x is equal to 1.8x plus 32. If we can solve this for x, then what we're saying is the temperature in Celsius, which is x, and the temperature in Fahrenheit, which is 1.x plus 32, if they're the same, what value for x is that? Well, that's the x, that's the value that everyone agrees on that it's that temperature. So we just need to solve this for x and it will give us the temperature in both uh, Celsius and Fahrenheit that everyone agrees it's the same temperature for. So we just need to rearrange this equation a little bit. So why don't we take 1.8x away from both sides? That would give us minus 0.8x on the left hand side and that's equal to 32 on the right. We're just taking 1.8x away from both sides. And then what we can do is we can divide both sides by negative 0.8 yeah, to get x on its own. We just need to figure out what this is. Now, the way that you do this, because you, you can just plug in on a calculator, but if you want to do this manually, you might be like, how do I divide by 0 0.8? Well, first of all, take the negative out. So, you know, just put the negative there and then we'll deal with the fraction. Leave the 32 on the top. And instead of writing 0 0.8, we can just write four over five because 0 0.8 is four over five. And then what you can do is you can multiply the numerator and the denominator of this fraction by five. 32 times 5 is 160, and 4 over 5 times 5 is 4. And negative 160 over 4 is just negative 40. 
okay? So what this means is, when it is negative 40 degrees, everyone agrees that it is negative 40 degrees. If you ask an American, what temperature is it if, if it was negative 40 degrees? If they could still talk, because it'd be pretty cold. But if you ask an American, what temperature is it? They will say negative 40 degrees. If you ask a European or anyone else, you know, who uses Celsius, they would also say negative 40 degrees. And one of them would be using Fahrenheit and one of them would be using Celsius. They'd still give you the same answer. And that only ever happens for the temperature negative 40. So the answer is when it's negative 40 degrees Celsius, it's also negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit. And everyone agrees that is the temperature. Very cool. That's how you do it. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, share with your friends and family. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.